My Safety Training Online presents Heavy Equipment Safety, Wheel Type Loader Dozer Safety. What you will learn. We'll cover all aspects of ground equipment safety features, how to spot potentially hazardous situations, the definition of articulated machines, the definition of rigid frame machines, and the rules of the road when handling equipment. We'll discuss the do's and don'ts of handling machine, battery recharging safety, the fueling of vehicle safety, the role of maintenance in equipment safety, how to best make equipment adjustments, and tire safety tips. Pre-operation safety. Before ever beginning equi uh, equipment operations, know the company's safety manual on your particular piece of equipment. Have your needed personal protective equipment on yourself. Recognize safety and warning devices. Learn the traffic rules for the site. Familiarize yourself with safety features and know what clearances you have to work with. Always read the manual furnished with your loader or dozer before beginning operations. Know what the power line clearances are. Know what the controls for refueling hazards are. Work with dust, smog, or smoke, or fog lowers your safety margins. Job site hazards and your equipment. Remember, loose or flapping clothing can get caught in machinery and cause injury. Inspect your machine according to the operator's manual. Report any defects to your supervisors. It is the operator's responsibility to notice specific requirements, precautions, and work area hazards and discuss them with his foreman or supervisor. Inspect your tires for damage and proper inflation. In, in, inflation. Disconnect articulated steering frame locks and store in a carrying position. A locked vehicle cannot be steered. Clear the area that you're about to work in. Finally, before you mount, Walk completely around your machine to make sure there are no workmen next to, under, or on it. Always look out for the other guy. A man is no match for a heavy machine. Remember, inspect your machine according to the operator's manual. Check the controls to make sure they are neutral to prevent sudden movement when the machine is started. Start the engine only from the operator's seat. It is good safety practice to give warning before you start up. Follow the manufacturer's recommended starting procedures. Always use available handrails, ladders, or steps. Be alert for slippery conditions and don't get on your machine or operate it in wet with wet or greasy hands or muddy shoes. Test the machine before operating it. Test the service and parking brakes to make sure that you'll be able to stop and stay stopped. Check the lights, backup alarms, and other warning and safety devices. Operate bucket blade equipment controls through the complete cycle, checking for problems. Sit properly in an alert position and check out the controls in a safe area when, when moving safe slowly. Steer the machine right and left. Remember, exhaust fumes can kill. Never let anyone stand or ride in the pivot area of an articulated machine. Never move a load above the heads of other workmen or over truck cabs. Before you back up, look and then look again. Heavy equipment types. There are articulated and rigid frame machines where the operator controls may be located on the front or rear section. The frame of articulated machine, shown below, is built in two parts and connected by a pivot. The machine pivots from center to rear. Take it slow in congested area, over rough ground or on slopes. Give loaded vehicles the right of way. Keep your speed slow enough so you are in a complete control at all times, watching out for other vehicles. Follow your employer's traffic safety rules at every job site. Avoid crossing obstacles such as ridges, curbs, logs, or railroad tracks. 
stay back from the edge of banks and pits. For better visibility on windy days, carry the load low and dump with the wind to your back if possible. When dumping into trucks and other haul units, keep your distance so as not to hit the truck with the loader or bucket. Operate straight up and down slopes whenever possible. Side hill operations could cause the machine to roll over. Stay in proper gear when traveling downhill and never coast in neutral. Maintain the engine RPM to give you control when you need it. It is generally recommended that the same gear range be used for traveling up or down a grade. Whenever possible, two men should work together in a hazardous area, one to operate the machine and the other to direct him and watch for dangers. Never enter a dust cloud or damp area such as an underpass or bunker before checking it for obstructions or hazards you can't see. Watch out for overhead dangers such as overhanging trees or falling rocks. Keep the proper distance from overhead power lines and check for buried power and utility lines before you dig, calling the 800 number. Even if a minor defect can become serious, so report any machine defects to your supervisor. If possible, haul the disabled machine to a repair area and avoid towing it. If you must leave the equipment unattended, lower the bucket or attachment flat to the ground. Shut the engine off and engage the parking brake if provided, and avoid show-off or grandstand operations. Never engage in horseplay or practical jokes on the job, and don't use alcoholic beverages or drugs while on the job. When using cables to move the load, be sure the cables are of adequate size and inspect them for flaws. Keep the work area as smooth as possible and avoid spinning your wheels and ruining a smooth area with dangerous ruts. When using cables to move a load, be sure the cables are of adequate size and inspect them for flaws. Keep cables tight, moving slowly when taking up slack or sudden pull could snap the cable causing it to whip around dangerously. Use caution when backing up to a drawbar. Watch ground man's signals and wait until he is clear before pulling away. The machine should never be used as a battering ram. Besides damaging an expensive piece of equipment, it might be damage an irreplaceable item, you. Use your lights after dark to be seen and to see. Select a safe parking place and park on level ground whenever possible. If you must park on a grade, park the machine at right angles to the slope and block the wheels to prevent movement. Park in a non-operating area or a designated parking area. Use warning signals flares, and barriers when needed. The exact shutdown procedures vary for different machines, so always read the operator's manual carefully. Lower the bucket or other attachments flat to the ground, placing the controls in neutral or parking positions. And always set the parking brake. Lock transmission controls or ignition lock to prevent unauthorized starting, and remove all keys. Bleed your accumulators if recommended according to the manufacturer's suggestions. Keep the work area as smooth as possible. Avoid spinning your meals and creating dangerous ruts. And when using cables to move a load, be sure the cables are of adequate size, inspecting them for flaws. The machine should be on level ground for maintenance. And before you start the work, make sure the machine is blocked. Disconnect the battery to prevent accidental starting. When charging, leave the battery compartment open for ventilation. Keep the maintenance area clean and dry. Only oily or wet floors are slippery. Wet spots are dangerous around electrical equipment. Before working on the machine, be sure to tag the control so no one else will start it. Remove all pressure caps carefully. Braid the pressure from accumulant. Wait until the coolant is below the boiling point before removing the radiator cap. Watch your step when getting off. Be careful of slippery conditions when stepping on points on the ground. Get off your loader or dozer only when fully stopped. A machine in motion, even coasting to a stop, could make you fall. Don't jump off. Grab the gra grab, use grab irons and handrails provided. 
Space machine when getting off for greater safety. Relieve hydraulic pressure before working on the machine. Be careful of all hot oil when working with hydraulic lines or draining engine oil. Keep the brakes adjusted. Lower attachments flat to the ground and stop the engine before cleaning or lubricating. Always shut the engine off when checking or adjusting belt tension. And if necessary, make other adjustments while the engine is running, but keep your hands clear of moving parts. Tire safety recommendations. Before you place a jack in position, block the wheel on the other side of the vehicle. Always block the machine up to prevent it from falling. And remove the valve core carefully and exhaust all air from the tire. Run a piece of wire through the valve stem to make sure it's not plugged. Always use the inflation cage, safety cables, or chains when removing the tire lock rings or inflating tires. Use a long enough hose and self-attaching air chuck. Stand to one side while inflating the tires. Never begin an inflate with a tapered bead tire unless the bead seat band has been pried out over the lock ring. Inflate a spare tire only enough to keep the rim parts in place. A fully inflated tire can fly apart when it's not installed on a vehicle. Use care if you must transport a fully inflated tire. A safety chain may be required. Never cut or weld on the rim of an inflated tire. It only takes one unsafe act to cause an accident. Use these safety rules, the operator's manual, and follow your employer's instructions to develop safe working habits. A careful operator is the greatest safety device there is. All equipment must get a pre-operating inspection check. Know the hand signals used on a job and who is responsible for signaling. Take signals only from one person. Read your dozer or loader manual to know the characteristics, capacities, and limitations. Be familiar with safety devices on your machine such as seat belts, canopies, or ROPS. Operate a bucket, blade, or equipment controls through a complete cycle check for faults. Clean your windows and windshields before you start. When working on equipment, be sure to tag the controls. Remember to relieve hydraulic pressure before working on the machine. And in any work area, always look out for the other guy. Stay away from the edges of banks or pits, never coasting in neutral. Keep clear of bystanders from the work, work, work area. And never using the machine as a battering ram. Park the equipment at right angles and always shut down, use shutdown procedures according to the operator's manual. When doing maintenance work, disconnect the battery. Use a voltmeter or a hydrometer when checking the battery. Uh, keep your brakes well adjusted at all times and keep your hands free of clear, moving, clear of moving parts.